Chris Shear and Jack Curry back here on this breaking news edition of BPTV. We now welcome in our Michael Kay. And Michael, this has just been a tremendous day for Brian Cashman and the Yankees bolstering their squad. Absolutely, and they still have about, you know, just under 24 hours if they want to do anything else. And, you know, you, you look at what the, they've done and what they have to do, they probably will trade Joey Gallo at some point. But I don't put it past them at all. They have kept their top prospects. So if you really want to make a run at Juan Soto and make this a breathtaking trade deadline addition for the Yankees, well, you could do that as well. I'm not saying that you will, but I'm amazed that they could do all the heavy, lift, heavy lifting that they've done, and they still have their shortstops in the minor league system and they still have their catchers as well so at this point till we see how they perform looks like the Yankees did a good job. Michael if the playoffs were to start tomorrow we all know Garrett Cole would get the ball in game two. I think a lot of folks have been wondering for the past several weeks who would get the ball in game two. How likely is it that the Yankees picked up that pitcher today in Montas. Well, I think that uh, there's a lot of possibilities according to who they're going to face. So if Luis Severino comes back and is totally healthy, I still think he could be the game two starter. Then Montas would be the game three. But I'm not sure we're going to see Luis Severino in the game until the end of August, maybe the beginning of September, and whether or not they'd be able to stretch him out enough. So Montas certainly gives Aaron Boone and his staff a very legitimate number two. And let's not forget, you have Nestor Cortez there as well, who's done a really outstanding job. So the Yankees have some viable options options as they go into any kind of postseason series all depending on the matchups for the uh, the other team. Michael they did what they needed to do bringing in an outfielder and Andrew Benintendi and Jack broke the story today about Scott Efros coming over from the Cubs. I want to focus on the uh, bullpen right now. We talked about the rotation but we just talked in our last segment. There's more diversification for Aaron Boone now out in that bullpen. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see the way it, it, it plays out because they've got to make two roster spots now. Who's going to go down and who's going to stay? And obviously, who has options? That's important as well. But I think Efros is the one that really excites the Yankees. Aaron Boone said today he's been on their radar and that he started hearing about Efros in April. So obviously, the front office was even before that. They like everything about him. What Jack just said in the previous segment, they have him under control for a very, very long time. He can get out righties and lefties. So that gives them a different look. Now, I think in Lou Trevino, what they've done is they've gotten a guy who has been really outstanding before, and he has not been outstanding this year. And the Yankees fix people. I mean, look at what they did with Clay Holmes. They turned him into this closure beast that struggled now of late, but for the most part, outstanding. He was an all-star as well. Maybe they see something with Trevino, a release point. Maybe they want to accentuate certain pitches and, and the like. So I think that both of these guys could really help. But the guy, I believe that they're most most excited about is Efros. Michael, the Yankees have the best record in the American League right now. For huge chunks of this season, they've had the best record in the major leagues. But Brian Cashman and his front office recognized that there were areas of improvement. With the flurry of moves that they've made and that we've just discussed, what kind of jolt do you think that sends to the clubhouse? I think anytime you make big time moves like what the Yankees did last year when they got Rizzo and Gallo that excited the team. They said oh OK the organization's all in as well. Again this shows the Yankees are all in. They traded a lot of good young prospects. I think over the last two years Brian Cashman because the Yankee farm system is so flush with talent has improved his team by trading 33 minor league players. Now there's a method to his madness as well. Some of the guys have to go on the 40 man roster at the end of this year anyway and he wouldn't have been able to make room so he puts them into deals but that's not what the uh, the guys on the 26 man roster are looking at they're looking at is this team better after these trades? I mean, when you bring in a guy like Benintendi, you're better. When you bring in a big-time pitcher like Montas, you're better. Then you hear that your organization was also in on Castillo. You heard rumors about them being in on Hader as well. They are going for it. Prospects are nice. You want to hug them. All those things. But the Yankees want to win a championship, and they just proved that over the last two days, that they're going for it. And if we know it, and if the people that are fans know it, the guys in that locker room know it as well. And I think it excites them. It probably propels them to another level. Prospects are nice. Parades are better, Michael. And I just have to ask, I know you talked about Soto when you first came on, but would you be surprised if anything else happened? They have until 6 o'clock tomorrow. 
No, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I think the Gallo deal has to be made. The Yankees have 41 guys on the 40-man roster, so somebody definitely has to go. So there's a trade there, but the Yankees have set themselves up that they could relax and not panic, and if something presents itself that's exciting, that could take them to the next level, I believe that they would do it. Now, do I believe that big deal's happening? My gut feeling is no, but there is another deal coming because they have to get, deal with the, the roster situation and then the Gallo situation as well.